Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA, of Superstore Sales with Python. Chapter 3, Data Exploration. Let's start data exploration. What is data exploration? Data exploration is the first step in data analysis involving the use of data visualization and statistical techniques to uncover data set characteristics and initial patterns. Got it! Let's have a look at preview first five rows of data set. All right. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? This code shows the first five rows of data set. Panda's head method returns top n, five, by default, rows of the data set. Got it! Then, once you're done, either click on the play button or hit shift plus enter. We can see the first five rows of the data set now. That's right. It's very important that you see this output in your notebook. All right. What kind of data is in this table? Mode of shipping used for shipment delivery. Categorical. Customer segment product was shipped to. Country in which the shipment was delivered. City in which shipment was delivered. State in which the shipment was delivered. Postal code the shipment was delivered to. Country region. The category product belongs to. Subcategory of the product. Sales made in USD. Okay. Then let's show a table of the last five rows of the data set. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? This code shows the last five rows of data set. Panda's tail method returns last n, five by default, rows of the data set. Got it. Don't forget to click the play button or hit shift plus enter. We can see the last five rows of the data set now. Okay, then let's show the shape of the data set. All right. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? NumPy, numpy.shape function, returns the shape of an array. Got it. I'll click on the play button or hit shift plus enter. What does this output mean? This means there are 9,994 rows, including header and 13 columns. Got it. Then, let's show the summarized information of dataset. All right. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? This code summarizes the information in the dataset. The pandas dataframe.info function prints information about the data frame. The information contains the number of columns, column labels, column data types, memory, usage, range index, and the number of cells in each column, non-null values. Got it. Click on the play button or hit shift plus enter. What is non-null? <laughs> Null means not having a value. Non-null means having a value. What data types are there? There are two main types of data, numeric and text data types. What is numeric data types? Numeric data types include integers and floats. A floating point, known as a float number, has decimal points even if that decimal point value is zero. An integer will never have a decimal point. What is text data type? Text data type is known as strings in Python, or objects in pandas. Strings can contain numbers and or characters. However, strings that contain numbers cannot be used for mathematical operation. Got it. We can do data exploration in the dataset now.